Hey everybody, in this video we are going to be making these trending lacy designs. You see them everywhere right now and I am going to show you how quick and easy it is to make your own. All right, so we need a couple things in order to do these. We need a lace background, which you can see you can purchase here on Etsy if you want to. You can get them from Creative Fabrica. It's completely up to you. Um, let me search here quick. Lace background. And they have, you know, the lace uh, transparent PNGs here on um, Creative Fabrica as well. And it's just, or you can, oh my goodness, you have my thumbnail up here. Let's go. Um, you can also make your own here on Canva. You can grab a lace pattern and download from Canva. So let's look here. Lace background PNG and see what they have. And I would just look through here until you find one that you like. This one's kind of cute. That's a nice lace. Um, this one looks like a nice lace. It is a transparent already, so it's going to, and it's white, so it's really hard to see. But you can just scroll through here and find the lace pattern that you want and then download it as an SVG, all right? All our files must be SVG for this process. Okay, and I think in this one, let's do a bunny. So let's do a look for a bunny silhouette because the silhouettes work the best for this type of design. We'll just come over here and look for a bunny. In fact, let's look for a free bunny, just in case you do not have a pro Canva account. And let's look for a cute bunny silhouette. Let's go back up here to the top. Let's just do this little guy right here, all right? And he is free. And we are going to download this like we do not have a pro account. All right. Um, with a pro account, you would just share, download, and download it as an SVG. All right. But let's just say we don't have a pro account. So we're going to download as a PNG. We're not going to worry about the background because we are using Inkscape to do this do this uh, design and it is super easy to convert a black and white PNG into a SVG. Okay, so now I am in Inkscape and Inkscape is a free program, all right? So you can download this and it will not cost you any additional, you know, it won't cost you anything to use it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my bunny in. All right, you could also come up here to file, import, and find your um, image that way. All right, and then I'm going to resize him so he's a little easier to work with. And we're going to scroll back in and you can see that he is just a PNG because we have that white background there. So while we have our bunny image selected, we're going to come over here on the right and you should see like a little image icon and it says trace bitmap when you hover over it. If you don't see it, it's going to be in this drop down panel over here. So I'm on trace bitmap. And we are going to let it at single scan because it's just a single color image. 
and you will see a preview of what your trace is going to look like. And then you'll just hit apply. And it will sit your traced image right on top of your original. And now you can see it's definitely a vector image now. There's no background or anything. So you can delete your original. All right. So there's our bunny. Now I'm going to drag in my lace pattern. And again, you could also do that by file import. And I am going to decide. Well, we're just going to leave that sit there for right now. We're going to go back to our bunny. I'm going to resize him. And I'm going to change the color of the bunny real quick just to make it easier. I want to put a border on this bunny. So while he is selected, I'm going to come back over here to my right hand panel and there is like a paintbrush icon. It says fill and stroke. We're going to click on that. And again, if you don't see it, it is in this drop down panel right here, fill and stroke. I'm going to go to stroke paint. I'm going to select the flat color. And then I'm going to go to stroke style. And here I can change the size of my stroke. All right. And I think for something like this, I want my stroke about 1.15 inches. It's a nice thick stroke, but not crazy thick. All right. Okay. You want to go path. Oops. Let me select him path stroke to path then you're going to right click and ungroup all right now you can grab that border and just move it out of your way okay we'll use that later but for now we are just using the silhouette and our lace pattern okay now i'm going to drag my lace pattern over here and I am going to make sure that it is large enough to fit over my bunny completely. And I'm going to stretch it out so my lace pattern's a little bigger and move it where I want it. Then I'm going to come over here to my layers. We're going to click on that. And I'm going to make sure that my lace is underneath my bunny. Okay, I'm just going to drag him down so it's underneath. You see that? And I'm just going to select both of those, the bunny and the lace. I'm going to right click, set clip. And there is my lace bunny. Now my border here, I can take this now and... I can change the color of my border and I think I'm going to make him black and I will just put it right back over, select both of these, go to my alignment panel and line it up perfectly. And then I will group them together. Okay. And there it is. Your lace bunny is done. Now I want to point something out that I have noticed on Etsy. Okay. I am seeing all of these lace designs in white advertising, you know, white PNGs. Okay. If you are using this for sublimation, white will not print white. Your printer doesn't have a white ink in it. So if you are planning on selling these as sublimation designs, you are going to want to make them different colors, not white, because if somebody buys a white PNG and tries to print it with a sublimation printer, they're going to get a blank page because we don't have white ink. All right. The only way these would work in white is if they were being sold to people who have 
um, direct to film printers that do print on that do print white ink. All right. I just want to point that out to you. I'm seeing so many of these in white and um, it's just not going to work. All right. If you are simply selling these for sublimation designs. Okay. I would suggest making them colored more like this one. You see this one is in different colors and you can certainly do that. So we can go back here and you could do a series of bunnies. We have our black one. We can, let's ungroup this. All right. Let's ungroup and let's select our lace and we could make him make the lace like a dark pink and then make the border just a little bit darker and do that. Um, you could do any color you wanted. Okay. I'm just saying if you are planning to sell these designs as sublimation, they're going to need to be colored because printers don't print white unless it is like a direct to film, a direct to garment, something of that nature. But again, sublimation printers just do not print white. Okay. It will not happen. It will not work. And if you're selling it as a sublimation design, you're going to get somebody who buys it and then they're going to be upset because it's really unusable to them in white. Okay. Unless they're selling using a POD fulfillment, um, then it could work. I'm guessing most uh, PODs will do uh, direct to film or direct to garment printing, but um, for a typical sublimation user, white is of no use. All right. First of all, the the fabric that you have to put it on has to be a light color, and then again, printers don't print white. So keep that in mind when you are making these lace designs that you are better off making them in, you know, some pastel colors perhaps. And you know, I could do this really pretty purple here and then a little bit darker purplish pink. But you could make, like I said, you could make a whole bundle of these lace designs in different colors. All right. So that's how easy it is. Once you have it the way you want it, you will group it. And then you will come over here to your right again, to your export panel. You will make sure it is the size you want it. I like mine to be 5,000 at the largest measurement. Okay, so he will be 5,000 tall and he is 4,036 pixels wide and the DPI 300. Oops, let me, I should have changed my DPI first. Okay, it's going to make him 328 DPI, which is perfectly fine. And then you'll come down here to export, pick the folder you want to put him in and save it as a PNG and you are good to go. Your bunny is done. Okay. So that's how you do the lace designs and they are super easy, super cute. And you can make a bunch of these. Um, I have, let's see, let me move this little guy over and just drag. Let me resize them show you just a couple others that I did as well. Um, we have this cross I did in like an orange and you could do that in you know, any color you wanted, like I said. And then I also did, I have mama and this is in like a purple, you know, so you can do text as well. It works. A little different. In fact, let me do a text one here quick for you. And I am just going to use 
the text right here in Inkscape. You don't even have to leave Inkscape. Let me just find a decent font to use. Um, let me see what we have in here. Let me look over here. My fonts. Let's just go with this one. All right. Let's just do mom. We'll make that a little bigger. And this, you know, if I was doing this, I would use a fancier font. But for this purpose, and let me bring in my lace pattern again. All right, let me move that off to the side. Now for my text based, I usually do it a little different. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is path, object to path, because we need to turn our text into a path. Then I'm going to duplicate it. I'm gonna take this down here. And this one is, whoops, I forgot a, I forgot a step, no. Nope. Okay, this bottom one, I am going to add a stroke to. So stroke, stroke style. And we want to, okay, here we go. This, this is our pattern. This is our stroke up there, which is huge. We don't want one that big let's do that all right and then in this we would just make our fill nothing and then that's our stroke do you see that like I said this is not the greatest text because the greatest font because it's not very thick but we wanted to have our stroke with no fill and then our text just like that so they would fit over Bring our lace pattern in, make it big enough to cover all of our font, drag it so it is underneath. Okay, and it is under, select both of those, right click, set clip, and there is your lace design on your font and then this one change your color of your stroke and be done with it like I said this is a very poor example as far as the text goes but you get the idea of how you can do it you just have to make sure you know you have the font you want installed so it will come up in Inkscape all right, so that's how you make the lace designs. I hope you guys found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.